The Jack Benny program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a night view of Beverly Hills, a quiet little town nestled at the foot of the Santa Monica Mountains in Southern California. As the clock in the tower in the city hall chimes the hour of 10 p.m., the Sandman is already making his rounds. As you notice, the lights all over the city are slowly going out. When the last glow fades away, the inhabitants of this enchanted little community will be fast asleep. Tomorrow morning, they will arise again with renewed vigor to pursue their many activities that, uh, that hmm. That's strange. There's one light that's still burning. Let's go down and find out why. Rochester! Rochester! Oh. I'll tell you what's the matter. I must have 15 pairs of pajamas. I can't find one of them. Now, where are my pajamas? I laid them out for you on the bed. Where? Right here. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. It's your own fault, boss. When I finished making the bedspread, you wouldn't let me throw away any of the extra material. <laughs> well, Rochester, pull it down the bed. Say, boss, can I ask you something? Yes, Rochester, what is it? You know my friend Roy? Roy, certainly. Well, Roy's boss is Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. And you know my friend Jerome? The one who works for the doctor? That's him. Well, I Jerome and asked him if he could play golf Wednesday. And you know what? What? The good doctor is letting Jerome off Wednesday. Now, Roy and Jerome are going to play a twosome. A twosome, eh? Do Roy and Jerome play a good game? Mm, fair, but not as good as Sam. Sam? He works for that lawyer down the street. Oh, yes, I, I read about that case he defended. He's a good lawyer. Well, he's a very generous man, too. Sam is getting off Wednesday. Isn't that nice? Well, personally, I think that golf is a lot more fun, you know, when you have a foursome. I'm sure glad you feel that way, because that's the way I feel, too. Wait a minute. Were you beating around the bush just to find out if you could have next Wednesday off? Well, uh, yes, I was. <laughs> For heaven's sakes, Rochester, if you want a day off, why don't you just come right out and ask me? Okay. Can I have Wednesday off? No. <laughs> you see how much quicker it is? Now, Rochester, wake me up early in the morning, will you? I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. All right, good night. Good night. Well, it's about time. <laughs> now, everyone in the beautiful city of Beverly Hills is tucked away for the night. I don't know. I, I just... I'm just not sleepy. Maybe it would help if I start counting sheep. One, two, three, four, five. There's a black one. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> wide awake again. <clears throat> Uh-oh. There goes that light again. <laughs> you call me, boss? Yes, Rochester. I can't seem to fall asleep. What's bothering you? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I forgot to do something. Why don't you just throw it off your mind? Come on out. Tuck in. I know I forgot to do something. I wish I could think what it was. Boss, I think I know what you forgot to do. What? <laughs> I knew 
I forgot something. <laughs> Want me to take them off for you? No, I can do it. Okay, good night. Good night. If he's got knots in those shoelaces, we could be here all night. <laughs> well, thanks. morning and I haven't slept a wink. I'm not going to stay up there in bed. I'm going to go downstairs and read. Oh, no. At two o'clock in the morning? What's that jerk going to do now? <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel like reading. I don't know, what can I do? It's two o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep. There's no place to go. The banks are closed. <laughs> ah, might as well go back to bed, I guess. I know what I can do. I can practice a little bit. He's made up his mind. If he can't sleep, nobody else is going to. <laughs> there. Yeah, sound pretty good. Maybe I can read now. good, but my fingers seemed a little stiff. Yeah, I ought to go over it again, maybe. Maybe I can read. <laughs> I know there's something about a big, quiet house that makes a violin sound extra good. <laughs> Play again. <laughs> I don't feel like playing. So sick of exercises anyway. Maybe. Oh, here's something I haven't tried in a long time. Let's see. The...
That's what we'd like to know. We got over 50 calls saying it sounded like somebody was getting murdered in here. <laughs> All I was doing was practicing my violin like this. Does this sound like somebody's being murdered? No. Yeah, but that could explain the one complaint we got, that somebody was plucking a live chicken. <laughs> plucking a live chicken? There's a fine lot of neighbors I've got here in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? We got just as many calls from Pomona. <laughs> Come on, get your clothes on. You're coming with us. But I told you all I was doing was practicing my violin. That's all. But buddy, I don't care what you were doing. All I know is we got complaints, and we're taking you in on a charge of disturbing the peace. Oh, for heaven's sake. I want to get out of here. You're not getting out of here till the judge says so. And the court doesn't open till 10 in the morning, so you might as well go on back and relax. Well, why did they have to drag me all the way downtown? I mean, why couldn't they take me to the jail in Beverly Hills? Well, we tried to get you in there, but they stopped taking reservations at midnight. <laughs> hey, nobody, you're right. Nothing like this. Like this. People like you and me shouldn't be in here with bums. <laughs> they got a, a lot of nerve. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know what you're in here for, but all I was doing was celebrating my 25th wedding anniversary. Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, do you want to know something? After being married for 25 years, my wife still has the same figure. Well, that's wonderful. What's so wonderful about it? She was a fat slob when I married her. <laughs> what? She was so big that instead of throwing rice, they threw peanuts. <laughs> peanuts. <laughs> See you later, buddy. <laughs> Oh, brother, what did I get myself into? I don't want to hear any more noise out of you fellas. And you get your hands off those bars. Shorty, look at them hands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just look at those fingers. What do you do, Mac? I play the violin. You're wasting them. If I had fingers like that, I'd open up Fort Knox. <laughs> Gee, you think that it... What are you talking about? <laughs> Fort Knox. Boss, boss! What's up here? I'd have been in sooner, but I thought I'd better brush up on my law books first. <laughs> law books? Now, boss, when I'm talking to the judge, you just sit back and squeeze a few tears out of those bare blue eyes, and we'll be home before you know it. <laughs> oh, for heaven. What in the world made you think I was going to let you defend me? I didn't think you'd let me take out your appendix, either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was different. That was an emergency. <laughs> I don't just stand there. Go get me a lawyer. Okay. No, officer, it was none of those men either. Okay, take them away. into 
my apartment and stealing my wristwatch and my diamond ring. Well, lady, maybe we'll find him in this next group. Number three, hold your head up. Number four, take your hat off. Well, what do you think? Well, gosh, I don't know. Well, take your time, study them closely. I don't know who they're trying to pick up, but I hope it's me. I just gotta get sent up. Why? The syndicate gave me the franchise to sell license plates at a half price. <laughs> You're kidding. I can not only get your little number, I can get your colors to match your car. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Well, number three looks about the right height. Number three, step forward. <laughs> What's the rundown on number three? Uh, picked up for disturbing the peace. Five feet ten, 165 pounds, blue eyes, brown hair, small mole on left shoulder. Any other identification marks? Yeah, a sloppy looking appendix car. <laughs> Would you have him turn his collar up? Turn your collar up. <laughs> hey, Mac. This description is pretty close to the 706 case. Oh, yeah? Hey, Buster, give us a scowl. <laughs> now give us a sneer. <laughs> Now give us a cold-blooded stare. <laughs> well, he may not be the thief, but I know one thing. He's no actor. This is the most humiliating thing that ever happened to me. Thrown into jail like a common thief. I didn't even have anything to eat. Wow, well, why didn't you say so, uh, buddy? Here, have a piece of my anniversary cake. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got back. Did you get a lawyer? Oh, yes! How do you do? <laughs> you? You're the lawyer? Yes. If you don't believe me, see for yourself. A diploma on a briefcase? Why don't you hang it on the wall? I can't. I don't have an office. <laughs> Rochester, where did you find him, anyway? On the corner of 3rd and Main. All he had was a desk and a beach umbrella. <laughs> My time is valuable. Let's talk about your case. Now, how much did you get out of that safe you opened? I didn't open a safe. With those fingers? Are you kidding? <laughs> Look, I tell you, I didn't rob a safe. Now, whose side are you on, anyway? Well, I'm on your side, but don't expect any sympathy from me. <laughs> what? How a fella could get out of jail and right away commit a crime is beyond me. I didn't just get out of jail. Well, don't tell me you bought that lousy suit. <laughs> Look, if you're going to be my lawyer, then prepare the defense, will you? They're going to call for me any minute. Just stop with the jokes. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't get my briefcase open. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't open a safe? <laughs> I told you I didn't rob a safe. Now look, get out of here, will you? I don't want you for my attorney. I'll get somebody else. I'll get another lawyer. Oh, nobody does. Nobody ever wants to lawyer. All right, come on in. You're next. Come on. Boss, what are you going to do? I don't know. Leave it to me. I'll handle it. Next case. All right, you're next. 
Your Honor, this man is accused of jaywalking. How do you plead? I plead. 30 days at hard labor. <laughs> Hey, boss, that's a very tough judge. All right, don't worry about it, Rochester. When I explain it to him, he'll let me go. Judge, isn't that a pretty stiff sentence? 30 days for jaywalking? I can't help it. I'm so tired and irritable. Some idiot played his violin and kept me awake all night. <laughs> Then he'd stop. Then he'd stop. Then he'd stop. Start, stop, start, stop, start. At two in the morning. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> okay, you're next. <laughs> All right. Tell the court what you did. I. I... Come, come, I'm very tired. What did you do? I robbed a saint. <laughs> Wait a minute. It says here you disturbed the peace. I, I don't care what it says. I robbed a saint. Believe me, I robbed a saint. You gotta believe me. I, I'm a safe cracker. Look at these fingers. Look at these. I could open up Fort Knox. Look at these beautiful pictures. I robbed this safe, I tell you. That's exactly what I did. I robbed this safe. 45 to the left. 35 to the right. Well, here we are again. And it's the next night in Beverly Hills. As the clock chimes the hour of ten, the Sandman is once again making his rounds. See? Lights all over the city are going out. <laughs> Come on, go out. Oh, please go out. Oh, no, what's the trouble tonight? <laughs> Rochester! Rochester! Boss, boss, what's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. Last night I couldn't find my pajamas, and now tonight I can't find my pajamas. Now, where are they? But, boss... Now, don't tell me you laid them out here on the bed because they're not here. Now, you find those pajamas. That's so all you think about. Can I have a day off? Can I go out to play golf? Can I have do this? Can I do that? You think of everything, everything but working. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Look. <laughs> oh, for, for heaven's sakes. Gee, when the police came, I got dressed so fast, I forgot to take the pajamas off. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Don't forget to take your shoes off. I won't. <laughs> Thank heavens. Good night, folks. <laughs>